Hi, my name is Mohammed Ibrahim. I'm going to show you how I made this 3D printed Kylo Ren helmet. Okay, so I'm not the one who actually designed the helmet, but I'll show you how to find it. If you go to Thingiverse and you search Kylo Ren helmet, the first one here you'll find is by JTM. He's the guy who actually designed the 3D model. But it's in one solid piece, so unless you have a really big 3D printer, you can't print it in one piece. But luckily, this guy, G. Crocker, separated it into eight parts for smaller printers to be able to print. So this is the file that I used. There's actually eight files. I printed the collar pieces first and then the eye pieces, and the helmet pieces, and lastly I printed the chin pieces, which are the most complex and they took the longest. So big thanks to JTM and G. Crocker on Thingiverse for actually designing and splitting the helmet files. Okay, so once you have all the pieces, you're ready to assemble. Now, PLA doesn't glue together very well, so what I did was I actually welded it, I welded the pieces together with this hot knife. It's basically like a soldering iron. You could use a soldering iron too, but this is just what I had. So to weld the pieces together, basically you just take the hot knife or soldering iron and you just run it along the seams. And you, I used another piece of filament to melt in with it and fill in the gaps even better. This front part is the only outside part that I welded because it changes the texture and the appearance of the 3D print. So I didn't want that on the whole helmet, so if you look, I left most of the outside seams unwelded. See the seam goes along here. But on the inside I welded everything completely. And for the cheek holes and the visor I used a thin black sock and I just hot glued it around the edges of the holes. And so you can see through it pretty well. It's not, the visibility isn't that great but you can see decently well. For padding I just used, you can see I used thin layers of craft foam and I just hot glued them together and I put the sock material around it and I just hot glued that to the sides and the front and the back. I only used four pads but that was enough to keep the helmet steady on my head. To paint the silver lines I used this testers silver metallic paint and I just used a small brush and I just brushed on the paint and I put it took work more than one coat especially on the top parts because I wanted it to look smooth because if you just put one coat you can see the lines from the print through the paint and that was okay down here because I wanted it to look more worn. But on the top, I wanted it to look smooth, so that took a lot of coats. If I was going to paint it again, I would definitely smooth out the silver parts before I painted them. That would, it would use a lot less paint because it would already be smooth. And I wouldn't have to put so many coats. While I was painting this top line, I put masking tape all around the edge to stop the paint from leaking over, but it did anyway, it got underneath the tape, so there wasn't really much point in taping it, so I just uh, painted the rest of it freehand without any tape. Wherever it leaked out, I 
just painted it over with this black gloss paint. And that made it look a lot neater. So that's how I made my 3D printed Kylo Ren helmet. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be making a miniature BB-8 droid, so hopefully I'll have some videos coming out about that soon. And eventually I want to make a full-size BB-8 droid. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.